Um, so, uh, so this is track two. We had an excellent session uh, earlier today in various time zones. Um, so we're delighted now to move on to track two. Next slide. Uh, I did want to mention, if you haven't figured it out already, that we do have multiple translations of the um, of our meeting in both Japanese, Spanish, German, and French, and you can click on the link under the agenda item in the meeting hub or use that short URL bit.ly j4gh underscore translation to get to the translated version. Next slide, please. Um, and I want to say welcome to everyone. We have people from all around the world. In fact, we have 57 countries represented. You can see the global map there. I will, I will spare you my ability to pronounce all of those forms of the word welcome <laughs> and just say I'm delighted that we have such amazing representation. And actually, in the next slide, you'll see um, a bar graph just showing how far we've come in, in over the years of having our plenary meeting and the, the countries represented. Um, and we're, as I said, we're we're up to 57 different countries represented. And you, you can actually see the significant jump last year when we moved the meeting to uh, an entirely virtual meeting because of the pandemic. It really allowed many more people to be able to attend. So that's been one terrific aspect of, of movement to the virtual platform, although I think we all would love to see each other and hopefully we will be able to at some point. Uh, next slide. Um, we do, of course, recognize that this is not business as usual. Many, many of you and us are still battling the pandemic and um, and have taken on new responsibilities. And some of you may be working on the front lines and adjusting to new work environments still that keep changing on us. So, um, so we understand that, but we also appreciate um, all of us coming together uh, and supporting each other. Honestly, Global Alliance is amazing community and I've been privileged to be part of it. Uh, next slide. Um, so if you're having any technical support uh, needs around the platform, uh, there's an address to contact. Um, and if you have general questions about Global Alliance, you can send an email to operations at Global Alliance or ga4gh.org. Um, one thing I will note um, is a great place to chat during the meeting is on um, our Slack channel. So, uh, and you can use the, the general Slack or you can join different channels that are set up within the Slack, the Global Alliance Slack workspace, um, both during the meeting, but also um, if you um, wanna continue to participate in Global Alliance. Next slide. Um, and well, that, that says it right there, that this is the Global Alliance workspace um, is J4GH, um, so, uh, so feel free to come join it. Um, next slide. Um, also, in terms of the agenda and links to everything, and also uh, the posters, uh, that's all in this attendee hub. If you're not already on it, then um, you can use that URL there, um, the bit.ly ga4gh underscore attendee hub and get there if you're not already on it. But everything will be at your fingertips in terms of participation in the meeting if you're not already um, on it from before. Next slide. Um, and also connecting in general with the community, both through the Slack workspace as well as Twitter. So our Twitter um, handle is at j4gh. Um, and you can also use the hashtag ninth plenary or j4gh community if you want to tweet tweet away, we encourage it, um, really uh, engaging the community and the really important discussions and activities of Global Alliance here. Next slide. Um, so just to make sure you're all experts at Slido, you can um, actually go there right now. So um, uh, you can type in slido.com or sli.do, which I'm gonna do as we speak. Um, and then enter in uh, hashtag GA4GH, just type in GA4GH, uh, and you will get to our Slido. Uh, so what is my favorite color? Oh, that's a good question. My favorite color is green, like, like the forest. <laughs> so feel free to send questions my way if you want to test out. Uh, you can ask me anything, although it's dangerous, like truth or dare right now. But um, but feel free to, to give it a shot. What is my favorite gene? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I, I do have, I have several, 
Uh, it's hard, and they change by day, but it, but the top five are MIPPC3, it's a hypertrophic cardiomyopathy gene, GJB2 is a hearing loss gene, otoferlin is one of my other favorites. So yes, I, I have a few favorites. Do I have any pets? Um, I used to not, but my son convinced me otherwise during the pandemic, and now I have two cats, and you might see them in the background at some point, so don't don't be surprised. So yes, I used to have a seven foot boa constrictor, but I got rid of that when my daughter was born because we were concerned it might eat her. So yes, um, no more no more large reptiles. Um, what's a movie or book you watched or read recently that you really enjoyed? Oh, well, that's a good question. Um, um, recent movie. Well, the most recent show I've watched on Netflix, which is most of my, my watching, because I do it while exercising in the basement is uh, clickbait. If you haven't seen that, the Netflix series clickbait, it's actually quite interesting. I'm on the lap last episode. Oh boy, truth or dare, uh, <laughs> dangerous. Um, I normally would go for dare, <laughs> um, but, uh, but it depends on the question or the test. Um, okay, I think, I think you've got it. Before, we, before anyone puts out a real truth question to me, I think it's time to move on. Um, so uh, so just as a, a recap for those of you who didn't make it to the session earlier today, although um, as noted at the bottom of the slide, the recordings are available. So if you were sleeping because you're in a different time zone, uh, they're all recorded and you can watch them. We had a terrific um, talk from Harold Varmus um, on genomics in the WHO and, and the activities that he is helping lead there. We had updates from Global Alliance. Um, we had a talk from our EDI um, uh, advisory group. We had lots of amazing updates from our standards development across the different work streams, uh, talk on our federated analysis systems project, um, and uh, also a talk on our uh, G4GH starter kit. So lots of just not only great talks, but amazing, representing amazing progress that um, all of you in the Global Alliance have been accomplishing. So that's the recap of our track one. And now we're on to track two, next slide. Um, so track two, collaborate, innovate, accelerate is the theme for this track. Um, next slide. Um, and here is our lineup. So um, we're gonna, next session or next topic will be implementing global alliance standards um, in genomics and health implementation impl implementation forum uh, so i think catherine north is going to give that one then move on to real world implementers uh, then we'll have a short 15 minute break uh, and then move on to a panel engaging with underrepresented communities and then finish with some closing remarks and then we will have a poster session and i did want to just give a uh, heads up on the poster session. So it's it's not a, a live environment. Um, it's a you can click on poster in the attendee hub. You'll get a list of posters. You can click on each poster and you can read the poster, both an abstract as well as download the full poster. And then off to the right, there is a button that you can then interact with the poster presenter. Now they're not always there. So if you click that button and nothing happens or you don't find anyone, it's because the poster presenter may not be there, depending on which time zone they're in. So um, just recognize they might not be manning their poster at all times. But um, some of them will be there, so you can click through those posters and, and visit with, with people if, uh, if anyone's uh, attending their poster. Um, and next slide. Um, I do want to just set expectations for conduct. Uh, we expect everyone um, to be respectful. Also, be sure to be transparent about your potential conflicts of interest, either if you're a speaker or if you're asking questions or, or making statements. Um, and we don't tol tolerate uh, discrimination, harassment of any kind, disrespectful behaviors or online violence. So uh, adhere to that. Next slide. Um, I do want to especially um, acknowledge the program committee members, Melanie, Brian, Chisato, Jan, Nara, Orion, Shakuntala, Teresa, Zornitsa, and Monica, who all worked really hard to deliver up just an amazing lineup for these four different tracks and uh, for our plenary meeting. So really appreciate all the hard work and a special thanks to the EDI group, the Global Alliance Secretariat, uh, the exec for um, all helping plan this meeting. Um, next slide. 
Um, and with that, we are ready to get started. So I'm going to turn it over to our first session. I think Kat, 